students now you have understood chapter 2 food and health now we will solve the exercise first of all we will start with the objective types first is filling the blanks first is does provide energy to the body is it carbohydrates or proteins yes it is carbohydrates second is iron and calcium are important des that are needed by our body as we have discussed iron calcium iodine phosphorus etc are important minerals so its minerals third is des is the undigested part of food we eat is it protein or roughage definitely roughage fourth is des is the state of complete physical and mental well being is it disease or health it is health fifth is des is a communicable disease is it obesity or pneumonia it is pneumonia as it can spread from one person to another and obesity does not spread from one person to another now we will see true or false first is bananas are a good source of carbohydrates is it true or false yes it is true fruits like banana and mangoes are very good source of carbohydrates second is water is not a part of balanced diet it's false along with five components of the food water and roughage are also included in balanced diet third is proper diet rest exercise and good posture are necessary for a healthy body it's correct as we discussed this all are very necessary for healthy body fourth is communicable diseases are caused due to deficiency of nutrient in the body no it's false they are caused by germs fifth is goiter is caused by the deficiency of iron it's false goiter is caused by deficiency of iodine now we will start mcqs first is which of these do you need to eat for muscle building the answer is eggs and meat they gives us protein and essential for growth and muscle building second is which of these are needed in small amounts for normal functioning of the body the answer is vitamins and minerals third is which of these is a good source of roughage the answer is vegetables as we know raw vegetables are very good source of roughage fourth is which of these are essential to stay healthy the answer is all of this because balanced diet and rest good posture and exercise these all are very necessary to stay healthy fifth one is which of these are common ways in which disease causing germs spread as you know germs spread through dirty food and water through insect or through direct contact so the answer is all of this sixth one is which of these diseases spread through direct contact the answer is measles and tuberculosis in all other options allergies cancer beriberi scurvy goiter anemia these all are non communicable diseases that are not spread from one person to another seventh is which of this is caused due to deficiency of vitamin a that is night blindness beriberi is caused due to lack of vitamin b1 scurvy is caused due to lack of vitamin c and rickets is caused due to lack of vitamin d the last is which of these is caused due to deficiency of iron that is anemia measles tuberculosis and pneumonia are communicable diseases our next exercise is match the following first one is vitamin d the rickets is caused by lack of vitamin d second is vitamin b beriberi is caused by lack of vitamin b next is vitamin c scurvy is caused by lack of vitamin c fourth is fat rich diet obesity occurs due to fat rich diet last is mosquitoes mosquitoes spread disease like malaria 
Now give two examples. First one is sources of proteins. That are cheese, pulses, soya bean, milk, eggs, etc. Second one is sources of carbohydrates. That are wheat, rice, potato, sugar, bananas, mangoes, etc. Next is sources of vitamins and minerals. That are fruits and vegetables, fish, egg, milk, etc. Next is sources of fats that are oil, butter, cheese, ghee, dry fruits, etc. The last is sources of roughage that are oats, dahlia, corn, cabbage, etc. Our next exercise is give one word. First one is a diet that contains adequate amounts of different components of food. The answer is balanced diet. Second one is a state of complete physical and mental well-being that is health. Third one is a state in which a function or a part of body is no longer in a healthy condition that is disease. Next is diseases that do not spread from one person to another that is non-communicable diseases. The last is disease caused due to the lack of nutrient in the diet over a period of time that is deficiency disease. Now let's start with short answers. First one is what is a balanced diet? As we have discussed a diet that contains adequate amount of different components of food along with roughage and water required for healthy functioning of our body is called balanced diet. Means our diet must include all the components of food like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals along with water and roughage in proper amount to be healthy. Now our second question is what is good health? What shall we do to stay Answer is, health is a state of complete physical and mental well-being. This means that both the mind and the body must be completely fit for a person to be considered healthy. Proper food, rest, exercise like walking, running and playing and correct posture are essential for staying healthy. Now, our third question is, why should we include roughage in our diet? Give three examples of food rich in roughage. Roughage is the undigestible part of plant food. It helps in moving the food easily through our digestive system and in proper removal of wastes from our body. Atta means whole wheat flour, oats, dahlia, corn and Cabbage are some good sources of roughage. Coming to fourth question that is differentiate between communicable and non-communicable diseases. Give two examples of each. First of all communicable diseases. Diseases that spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases. While non-communicable diseases do not spread from one person to another. Communicable diseases are generally caused by germs while non-communicable diseases are caused by the deficiency of particular food component. Example of communicable diseases are common cold, pneumonia, etc. While example of non-communicable diseases are beriberi, goiter, etc. Our next question is, what are deficiency diseases? Give 5 examples of deficiency diseases and the nutrients that are linked to. Diseases that are caused because of the deficiency of particular food component are called deficiency diseases. Deficiency means, kisi cheez ki kami hona. First is scurvy. It is caused by deficiency of vitamin C. The food rich in vitamin C are amla, orange, etc. Second is goiter. It is caused by deficiency of iodine. 
food contain iodine are iodized salt canberries etc next is anemia it is caused by deficiency of iron the food rich in iron are spinach apple etc now berry berry it is caused due to deficiency of vitamin b1 the food rich in vitamin b1 are milk peas etc the last is night blindness it is caused by deficiency of vitamin a the food rich in vitamin a are green leafy vegetables papaya carrot mango etc our last question is what are vaccines how do they help us vaccines are special substances that are used to prevent specific diseases most vaccines are given to children vaccination is the use of vaccines to prevent specific diseases and help to build up resistance in the body they develop our immune system so that our body can fight against diseases by itself write all the objective type of exercise like filling the blanks mcqs very short answers in the textbook itself and question answers in the fire book thank you